Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Millie and today I want to show you how I'm packing for my trip to Lima. I'm traveling to my hometown, Lima, Peru, with Olivia. We are going to be there for a month, so I'm going to start packing right now. So I wanted to show you a little bit how I'm going to do it and everything. But first, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe if you want to watch more videos related to motherhood and lifestyle. I upload a new video every week. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I packed my stuff first. This is the suitcase I'm going to take. I'm traveling with Olivia by myself, so I want to take just one suitcase because with the stroller and everything is going to be really tricky for me to handle more than one bag. So yeah, I'm, it's the first time I'm using these packing cubes and they are amazing. I recommend it. If you can use packing cubes for your trip, save a lot of space and keep everything organized it's great here i'm taking pants leggings uh, sweaters and a couple of sweaters and here long sleeve uh, t-shirts and blouses it's winter time right now in lima so yeah everything is long sleeve and sweaters and stuff and this is all the clothing i'm taking for the whole trip and it fits so i'm happy with that and comes these two these two other cubes small ones i'm going to put olivia's clothing here she's taking more clothes than me <laughs> so i hope i can fit everything here for her i'll see and they also comes with two small ones i'm going to put my underwear here so yeah, it's really practical and has mesh here. You can see inside. I really like that. So yeah, I'm going to continue packing now. Okay, and before packing Olivia's clothing, I wanted to show you a mini haul I did because as I said, it's winter now in Lima. So I needed stuff for her, long sleeve, pajamas and shirts and cozy stuff. So I went first to Carter's. I bought these pajamas. They're super cute. They're a size 2T. This one has a rainbow here. I always like buying footless pajamas for her so it, they can last longer. And this one, so adorable. And this pink overall I wanted for a while for her. See, she's going to look adorable. So gosh, big gosh, one. Super cute. This one is size, I can't find the size, but probably either 18 to 24 months or 2T. Super cute. This was originally $40, but with this count, I ended up paying $30 for this overall. The pajamas, I, I took the tax off because <laughs> I'm ready to pack them. Okay, then I went to Ross and Marshalls and I bought three things, but I don't remember where. I think this was in Ross. This Toby Hill figure of dress and pants. They are 18 months, but they're a little bigger. So I think she can finish, she can fit in this well. It was originally $50, but I ended up paying like $12. So it was good. Then I bought these Carter's, I don't know if it's pajamas, but a shirt and pants. So they was really cute. I like the material. There is like fleece, like it's cozy. Perfect for the weather in Lima right now. And I like this pose and the, the pants. Yeah, super cute. And finally this, I wasn't looking for this, but I ended up buying them because it's super adorable. <laughs> this sweater is the brand is Cynthia Rowley. It's this size is 24 months with this two too, I think it's adorable. <laughs> super cute. And it came with a headband too. 
really cute i like the details the bottles Look, seems really soft delicate i really like it and i went to gap straight to the clearance section because of course it's winter clothes <laughs> are not in the store right now and i found three things that were like less than five dollars this thing this this uh, like little dress or top was like a dollar fifty cute this onesie was still the same was the same one dollar fifty more or less it's cute it's a sweetheart and mini or mickey super cute And these um, pajamas, I think, that were like four fifty, five dollars more or less. So I think it was good. When I got to the registry, it was even cheaper than the tag. Really like it. Yeah, this is everything I got besides other clothes I'm going to take for her. So I'm going to start packing right now. And this is all the clothing I'm taking for Olivia. I don't know if those two packing cubes are going to be enough for her, but um, uh, but I'll see. Has pants, jeans, long sleeves, t-shirts, onesies, socks. Here. So yeah, let's start now. Okay, so fit almost everything in those two packing cubes but the thicker stuff like sweaters and thicker shirts I think I'm going to pack them in my backpack hopefully they fit in there so yeah so far I think it's good there's a there's a space <laughs> left still so let's see Okay, so my shoes are here. I only taken two pairs besides the ones that are wearing the flight. My makeup and my toiletries are going to be here I'm using these travel bottles that I got at Dollar Tree. Three piece for one dollar, so I think it's good. So much stuff. <sighs> I hope I hope I can finish soon. Okay, and this is almost ready. As you can see, all the packing cubes fit perfectly. It's my clothes, my underwear, my toiletries, makeup, Olivia's toiletries, and her brush and stuff, extra wipes. And on top, I'm going to put some stuff, that I'm t gifts that I'm taking for my family. And that's it. I think it's going to be okay. I, I'm worried about the weight. I don't know how much it's going to weight yet. But yeah, for the both of us, for one month. I'm packing Olivia's stuff and I wanted to show you this amazing frozen sticker book that I found at Barnes & Noble. It has more than a thousand stickers. So cute. It has like story of each character. I have to put stickers on it. Anna, Elsa, and Olaf. And then the stickers. I think it's super cute. Olivia likes, right now, really likes Frozen. One of her first words was Anna. <laughs> so yeah, I'm sure she's going to love this book. I wanted to show it to you. Okay, and these are the two bags I'm carrying besides my handbag. Here are uh, clothes for Olivia, the thick ones that they didn't fit in the suitcase. Extra diapers. In these bags, I want to show you, I got them at Marshalls. 
they're really practical and ziplock bags big one this is a small one so yeah they're really useful i like them putting this uh, extra change of clothes to have it on hand for olivia extra diapers there in the bag too so yeah this is almost ready and this is olivia's backpack that she's not going to carry but i like to carry here her snacks and toys and also here i have a changing mat this thing that you can see here comes with a mat for changing the diaper I have diapers here and water wipes so if i want to change her diaper i just take this thing with me and not the whole backpack so yeah and the rest are snacks and toys for her her water bottle I did a video on what's in my travel backpack for my toddler so I'll leave the link down below if you want to check it out yeah it's pretty much the same one that I'm carrying this time so yeah the packing is almost done so we're about to leave in like half an hour I will continue posting videos now in Peru which were, as I said, we're going to be for, there for a month. So I think I'm going to blog and show you a little bit of my hometown and, and all the things we're going to do there. So I hope you like it and stay tuned for that. Okay, so I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like it. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.